this that's bullshit, that's dude. The last bring it I'm, I'm literally just trying to give. Everybody, bring it down a level. No screaming. But no, that person is not that name. That person is not to be brought up in this area. I feel like I'm on a freaking plane. But yeah, no, we're not doing. <laughs> yeah, that. She's, she respectfully said, "Do not bring me up," mono, and that's what you're doing. Mono mute. Mono mute. Okay, Casey. I was in the middle of speaking, babe. I, I do not appreciate being interrupted, especially when I'm mediating. I would ask that you let me finish speaking because it's hard enough for me. I'm really stressed out about handling this right now. Brother, I'm, uh, you, uh, I'm going to let you finish, but we are not bringing any women into this right now. That's not what we're here for. And, and if, you know, if, if we could just, Allow me to finish speaking because it's hard enough for me as it is before you go ahead and, and speak. Okay. So, so Casey, please go ahead and unmute and, and finish what you were saying, but we are not bringing women in here. You told me you wouldn't do it. So, so finish. What I won't do it. I was just bringing okay. context to why I'm behaving the way I'm behaving. Because oh, okay. we've already talked right. about previously on the live. I would just bring okay. context. Now, okay. so one as I was saying, I, I, cause I wasn't done yet, babe. Okay. As I was saying, we're we're going to keep it clean and the whole point of this is to squash and clear the air and and just you know be civil with each other if we can uh that's the whole goal is to try to make peace go ahead brother now the woman i will bring up is my grandmother who's being in that same video now when i made that video that you clipped up and made all these different because it wasn't just one video you sat up there and got a video from uh the chopper and when we were screaming a screaming match on her live and try to flip some weird narrative. Now, my grandmother is 2% North American indigenous. I got three other grandparents, bro. Three other grandparents. You didn't even, you didn't, you not only did you not show my DNA, you didn't even show my other grandparents. You took the blackest grandparent, which is not a problem to me because I love being black, but you took my black grandparent and dragged her as like a pretending or whatever the shit that you were trying to do with me, which is not even fair because my grandma is not here to defend herself. I didn't use anything with your family against you, bro, ever. Even when I was at, at ends with you, I didn't even make no videos about you, bro. You cannot say in, in, in front of all these people that I made any response to using your name or your likeness or anything like that. So that is fucked up. That is fucked up, bro. No matter how you spin it, that's fucked up. You should have left that shit with us. And you said that we had a truce, but literally a day later, you were up here talking about my indigeneity with people who don't even fucking know me. Like, that's crazy to me. And whether you like it or not, bro, I'm Garifuna. I'm Garifuna Chorti Maya. My people accept me. They even batted for me when you, when you did the shit that you did. They took the Twitter about it. My whole tribe backed me up. Like that, like... I, I, bro, like, hate me if you want to. Hate me because I'm less than or whatever the fuck or you're more indigenous. Whatever the fuck you want to, like, spin it as, bro. But literally, I just connected with my people, connected with the community and learning my fucking language, bro. That's all I've been doing. I don't shit on people and, and, and drag the shit out. We had our beef because you know why we had our beef. And you used to call me brother the same way you used to call cast sister. What fucking changed, bro? Literally, you came to me sideways one day about some shit about my blood percentage. I tell you, I will send you every DNA test I ever took. You said, no, I don't want to see it. Just to war. So I told you and thought it would be the end of that. It wasn't because you kept going and going and going after that. Nothing I show you is enough. I show you living ancestors. I mean, excuse me, living, living relatives. I show you ancestors. I show you my blood percentage. I show you my ties. I even speak my language to you. I even introduced myself to you in my language, bro. I came at you correct. Like, I, I don't know what else you want me to do. I really don't. Like, it's, it's, it's really bizarre that you have like some fixation on me, bro. Just, just like, I leave you alone, leave me alone. Like I literally blocked every fucking account you have because I don't want to be bothered with it. And you made this account to come and stalk me, bro. I thought it was woken. I literally thought it was woken being a creep. And then all of a sudden I, I hear about you going on a live with Cass and then see it's you underneath the account, bro. And we were mutuals with this account. You even talked to me like you were another person, which is really fucking sick. I don't know why you did that because you sit up here and said, and this when it was kid indigenous, 
when it wasn't woke and kid, it was kid indigenous. You came to me and said, Mono's talking about you in this video. And blah, 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 blah. What? You're Mono. So how the fuck is Mono going to hit me up about Mono, bro? Do you understand how weird that fucking is? Right. I thought that was the point of this was try to get some resolution and try to get um, some civility and hopefully squash the whole thing. Uh, Casey, do you want to add something to that into a peaceful agree agreement here? No, literally, I we had this supposed excuse that you talk about me later on. I can't I hear you. Said, I have I no beef with you. this man other than when he dragged me about my percentage. That's simply it. That's all. That's the only beef I had is that he keeps talking about what the fuck I am. And then he tries to flip it on me and say, well, why do you always make it about your face? I know one thing, excuse me, let me just finish this. I know Uh, one thing. My question was, my question was, do you have anything to, to make peace that you want to add to that? It's a yes or no. I literally just said that. Leave me alone and I'll leave you alone. Why do you keep pegging me? So it's is not the answer? About making peace. I'm not being I'm not being non peaceful. I'm so being fucked with for no reason. Literally, we already had a truce and he went back to the same shit. So and is then the answer the yes? Your yeah. answer is yes? Okay, yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so happy to hear that. Okay. So your answer is yes. Mono, Mono, um, it, can you add something to make peace to this and um and get this squashed? You know, can we come to an agreement here? about percentage uh it's funny he always talks about percentage i'm just saying i'm not adding to fuel to the fire but he says the other day he said he was in in uh, tira's live he even posted in the background that he's three percent uh three percent native from uh where the caribbeans uh, got in funa whatever right that's three percent but then he wants to claim that one percent from his grandmother who's that's his great grandmother the video that i have up she's two percent right so that's actually washed down for him. That shouldn't even count. That that that's like junk. Like that that wouldn't count. So he would be technically three percent. I have more African American DNA than he has Native American. I'm four percent. I'm just saying if he wants to talk percentage, but I don't claim that because that's not what I am, bro. I know what I am, and I hope you find out one day what you are. And you're not Native American, bro. Just saying, three percent doesn't count. Um, you know what I'm saying? That's my opinion. And that, and if you have a problem with that, then I don't know what to tell you, bro, because I'm, I'm going to stick to what is the truth. And the truth is you're not native and you're not 6%. You're four. You're technically four because three. And then that washed, washed down Northern Native American. That would make you at 4%. And the only reason why I'm talking percentage is because you're talking about percentage. I'm not. You're talking about percentage. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to have to step in and end the the percentages and the DNA here um with with all due respect uh, Mono it's his people it's up to his people to to you know um do what they need to do with him if True. His, you know if his True. people people accept You're right. It is his people. You're right. It is, it is up to his people. You're Thank right. Thank you. Yeah, You're right. I appreciate no, that, that's that. a fact. I'm not a Garofuna. I don't know the Garifuna people, so you're right. It is up to those people. And I'm going to, you know, mute. from what I heard about the Garifuna is that they are, uh, they're, uh, Afro indigenous people. They're not just indigenous, they're Afro indigenous people. That's what I read up about the Garifuna. Maybe I'm wrong, but that's what I heard that they're Afro indigenous people, the Garifunas. So, so we're not talking about each other's DNA anymore. We're not going to talk about indi- each other's indigeneity. We're all native. It's up to his people um, to to establish him, and we're not talking on uh, other people's tribes or other people's peoples. Um, uh, Mono, is there anything that you have to offer in order to just get this squashed and just you know? I know that it's a hot hot tension discussion here. <laughs> I need an AC, but. Um, is there anything you can please offer in order to just just clear the air and squash it and just you know agree to disagree and and bring some peace? Can we bring peace to this, Mono? I want to hear I want to hear from him one more time, just so I could like really make my make my peace. I want to hear it from him one more time because I don't want it to go back to like he feels like he didn't get it off his chest. So I want to hear him for, if he wants to talk one more time. I'm going to listen with my heart, not my ears. I'm going to listen with my heart, but I got to hear him. One more time so I know for sure where he stands. 
Mana, you went from calling me your brother and having me in your lives to dragging me as a pretendian and it fucking, it's fucking whack, bro. It's really fucking whack when I did nothing to you, bro. I did nothing to you. Literally, there's nothing you can say I did to you. And I don't, I'm not talking about who I was with or whatever the fucking fuck. Cause that's not, that's not between me and you. I never did nothing to you, Mano, for you to act this way towards me. Literally, like even when, 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 when my cousin uh, Ishko went at you, I even told you I didn't tell him to do that. We squashed it even then. I can't control the anger of my cousin when my cousin validates me and knows me because I'm from the same tribe as him. And he goes and attack you because you're attacking me about being from a tribe or whatever the fuck. Like, so this little beef that we have is simply because of what you think I am or you want or, or whatever, like, like or you think I'm not enough or whatever, bro. But it is really bizarre to me, especially when I found out that you're, 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 you're Dominican. We're sister tribes. This should not be going on between a Taino and a Gary. Hold, 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 hold on, Casey, Casey, Casey. For the record, I was married to a Dominican. I'm not Dominican. I'm not Dominican. Huh? You, you, you said you wanted to hear him. So please, no, 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 no. Please. Hold on. But I'm letting. I'm Let correcting that real quick. He, th he thinks I'm Dominican. I'm not Dominican, bro. Well, sorry, all right. I that you were Dominican and Mexican, bro. That I don't know if that's true or not. Please mute. Mono, please mute. Casey, we're trying to strive for peace, brother. You know, I mean, why do you keep doing that to me, legal? Like, I'm like, I'm because trying to be peaceful. That's my job. It's my job. Why, so why do you keep doing that to it's me? It's my like, job. Like, is it because I'm, I'm the dark skinned one or something? Like, like I'm not no, even being biased. Nothing to do with that. Oh, oh, we're not and doing that. No. no. You don't I'm, know my I'm background? not being angry or volatile. Casey, I'm expressing myself Casey, loudly. Casey, but I'm you're not going being on lookership. I'm going to tell you right now, Casey, you're going on lookership, dude. You're look you're going on lookership and you need to watch your your words. Please. I'm going on lookership with who? With me. Said, I didn't Casey, say nothing about what you look like. Oh, That's really? Not, but you just not, did say something, something that was about myself. That, how did, it, how did okay. that translate to you? Okay, it was it was about yourself, and I'm gonna let it go as it was about yourself. Okay, so so please, we're striving to squash it and clear the air and come to an agreement here. There's a goal here is to come to an agreement, and I I'm trying I'm trying for you I'm trying for you to get this video taken oh, down too because God. I'm in, I'm I'm agreeing with you. Okay, so please. Message of peace. Here. Message of peace. Go for it. Look, just take the fucking video of my grandmother off your page. You can have whatever beef you want with me. Think of me however you fucking want. I don't give a fuck at this point because I've been connecting with my people and that's what I've been about for fucking months now. So much so that I can speak my language somewhat. Okay. I'm going like, to interrupt. I'm going to interrupt. Okay. I'm interrupting now, not legal, not Mono, not anybody else. I'm interrupting. We're not going to keep, we're not, the point of you coming up here was for you guys, you and Mono, to figure out a way to coexist in peace and let bygones be bygones. We're not, okay. when you're sitting here, hold on, let me finish, Casey. Okay, so if, pro, example, a woman shows up here at my house, at this house that I'm cleaning right now, right? Oh now, say God. the owner's wife shows up and she wants something done a certain way. And this is a job that I do every day. And I know that being done that way is not right. Now, if I go out there and start dropping the F-bomb and throwing the F-bomb around. Please, and please don't around, police how I talk because I don't police how anybody else wait talks. A minute, wait a minute. Like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. If I'm doing that, then nothing's going to get it accomplished. It's going to just keep the fighting's just going to keep going. So all I'm asking, all I'm asking, I'm not policing you. I'm not telling you. I'm asking you respectfully. Let's not be cursing at each other. Let's not be hostile to each other. Say what you got to say and let it be at that. Okay. And we're not going to be bringing this. Like what you said a while ago, we're not bringing that into it either, okay? Let's just be peaceful with this, please. Wild. Uh, I'm not trying to be wild. See, that's disrespectful. That I didn't call you wild. I said this is wild. Why Why is everybody but taking that's, it that's personal when I talk respectful. like that? Me asking like, you what? not to, How is it? Okay, because so, I'm literally just expressing myself.
that's all I'm doing. I didn't call no one out their name. I didn't yell no, at no one. No, I didn't. Just stop, stop interrupting me for a minute. How is it wild? Me asking you. I'm not cursing you, anymore, Willow. Wait, wait, wait. Me asking you and Mono to be respectful. That's not being wild. That's just, this is my life and it's just me putting down my rules. Okay? That's it. Okay, that's, that's fine. Conversation. Okay, that's, that's fine. Me, but please, let's just cut the cussing out and let's try to be respectful in this, okay? okay. That's all I'm that's asking. Fine. Okay, that's fine. Mono, please, for the love of creator, take the video of my grandmother off your page. You can drag me in another video. You can make multiple, excuse me, multiple videos. I don't care. I really don't. I really don't because it's not going to stop me from connecting with my people. Clearly it hasn't. Clearly it hasn't. So why would I care? You don't like me for whatever reason? That's fine. I, I, I really don't care because I have no nothing in my heart for you at all. I, I don't care, bro. Like, like past you dragging me or whatever. That was the only animosity that I had. I really, I really don't care. Like it does, it does nothing for me to harbor anything. That's why I blocked and then forgot until you added me back on this page. For what reason? I have no, no clue, no clue at all because you don't even like me. So why keep tabs on me? I'm not talking about you or making videos about you. You never found one because it would have been on your page already. You would have been dragged that out and then dragged it out and dragged it out and dragged it out if it was true. I don't make any responses to you at all or anyone. So please respectfully just take the video of my grandmother off your page. That's it. That's all. Like we can coexist, exist, whatever, like whatever. I don't care, bro. I like, I like, I see you in lives. I don't even address you. There's no reason for the back and forth at all, bro. Like, really, it's not. Thank you so much, Casey. Uh, go ahead and mute, Casey, please. Um, Mono, uh, Mono, can, can we come to an agreement to bring that video down um, and, you know, just have civility here? Um, since it does have his grandmother in it, you know, um, just for, for the sake of peace and for the sake of just leaving his grandma alone. Is, is that possible, please? Real quick. I'm going to say something to Casey. Um, hold on. Let me see. Let me go to my other page where that video is real quick. I'm going, I'm going to that account. Um, all right. I just want to say this real quick. Uh, well, first of all, Casey, <laughs> hey, listen, <laughs> dude, it wasn't actually, this was to troll Woken and I just, my bad. I stumbled upon you again. My fault. I admit that that was, that was pet. That's petty. I really don't want to be petty. So I apologize. For that. You know what I mean? Cause at the end of the day, I, how I feel, how I feel, but still, um, like legal said, um, it's up to your people if they want to claim you or not. You're not of my people, you know, not claiming to be a mono. So it's really none of my business, to be honest. You're right. Um, so if they claim you, they claim you, right? There's nothing I can say or do. But I will say as far as the Dominican comment, I'm, I'm not Dominican for the record. I was married to one for five years. That's where that came from. That, that. Wherever you heard about the Dominican, I was married to five. One. And every, when I would bring her up, it was sad because I could never bring her up because the Afro indigenous community and those who were saying that I was just bringing her up to tokenize was, was being dragged everywhere that I was tokenizing my wife. I couldn't even say I love her. I couldn't even post a picture saying I love you because I was tokenizing, uh, an Afro indigenous woman. Do that. And remember when I went in real life and you made me apologize for it? I shouldn't have to apologize for a whole community of people. Can we let him finish? That, Can we let him you know? finish? Got gotcha. you. Thank you. No, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. That's what I had to go through. I had to go through those things so I could. I, I know. I know that pain where I, I I couldn't even post nothing of her because if I posted something like I love my wife or 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 my wedding photos, I would get dragged through the mud for whatever reason. I don't know why TikTok is like that. It's not like that on Facebook. It's not like that on Instagram. Only on TikTok. 
You know what I mean? So that's my pain with that. You know what I mean? But I'm not, I'm not Dominican, but I was married to him. Everybody knows I'm a mono. All right. That's what I am. I, I am an enrolled Native American. I'm an American Indian. However you want to label me. Okay. I'm with, I'm with my tribe. Now, out of respect for everyone who's here and those who feel some type of way, because that is your grandmother, I'm going to take the video down. I'm taking a matter of fact, I'm taking it down as we speak. I'm going to that page to take it down. But I will say this. My intention was not to, to point at your grandmother at all. It was a video that you did. You made that video and all I did was put that clip in there because you showed your DNA in the background of that video. That was the whole point of you showing your great grandmother's DNA of the 2%. So I wanted, you. I, I, I just wanted to throw that. That's go ahead. My grandmother and I showed her DNA. Yeah. I did not show no, but you, it was but her you said, DNA. I no, said but she was 2% and, that, and yeah. I found it in her. That is what yeah. I, I said on that video. I did yeah. not show my DNA. You did not give, give me a chance yeah. to show my DNA. No, but you you, you were saying that that's how you're connected. No, hold on, though. If you watch the video, you did say that was the way you were connected to being a northern native through your no, grandmother. Was, yes, you what, did. You said that in the video. I said that's how I discovered I might have those ties. Obviously right. so, because if it's in my grandma, she's my grandma. I yeah. have 1%. Actually, two percent. Uh, to one's Arctic, the other one says Northerner. I don't know why they do them different because they're like the same All region. Right. But right. that's my Northern ancestry. That doesn't nullify my Central American or Southern Indigenous. Which is which is three percent. That is three percent. Right. Okay, so I took DNA off the table. We're past that conversation. We're not revisiting those conversations. Okay. Okay. I mean, he wants to have it, and I have no problem showing it. Like, literally, oh, oh, I made a video listen, about it. Listen, uh, Mono, can you finish? Casey, please respectfully mute. So were you done? I was just wrapping it up saying that I will take the video down. Um, like he said, we don't have to be best friends or whatever, but... I, listen, you might not make content. This is my problem with you, dude. Just straight up. You might not make content like I do, but you do go into lives, bro. Live to live, and you do bring me up. Multiple people always come to me like, yo, Casey don't stop talking about you. Casey keeps playing victim. Casey keeps saying you're invalidating him. So, she was asked why they keep coming to you about something I'm saying. If, so if you would just, bro, if you, the well, last stop, time I just talked stop. about you, we were How both about this? How about this? How about this? You, you want the video down? Well, I want you to stop talking about me. Stop mentioning my name, and I promise you, I won't, I won't mention yours, dude. I, you don't live rent free in my head. I have, I have a lot of issues. Hold on, can you mute? Hold on, can you mute, bro? Let me finish, bro. I'm just trying to tell you how I feel, and then uh, that's why I asked you if you just let it all out so I can hear where you're coming from. I'm going to take the video down. If you just stop talking about me, stop mentioning my name for clout or for whatever reason you do it, then we'll be good. I'm, I don't have, you don't live rent free in my head, bro. I got, I got so many issues that I got to tackle within my own tribe, within my own people that I got to take care of. I'm like this close to leaving the app, to be honest with you, bro, because my people need me. So that's what I'm about to do. I might just get on, on this app, like maybe once or twice a month, but that's where I'm at. But that's my personal thing, right? But with you, I can take the video down. I'm going to do it respectfully. The reason why I put it up, bro, is just because, you know what I'm saying? Like, if, if this is your video and I wanted people to see it, <laughs> that's it. But I'll take it down. If it's if it's, if it that, if it means that much to you page, and if it, it fucks with you that much, I'm going to take it down. If, it's, if, it's, if it was already on my page, why did you need to blast it as something else? Because I presented it for what it was. I dna my grandma because I grew up with the myth that your great-grandma could be this and that. And I found out she wasn't lying because she had the DNA, which is why I made the video. So when people see that and they, they're reconnecting, reclaiming or what have you, they can they can literally see. I'm sorry. We're off. We're going off on a different direction. And the whole thing was he has agreed to take the video down. So the video's coming down. OK. So that, so, I mean, if you want to have a whole live and explain that, the talk about your grandmother, which is very interesting to be honest, but that's me because I like history and I like learning about people. But anyways, uh, let's not, let's do that somewhere, some other time, but let's just stay on topic. He's agreed to take it down. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You're right, Ray. It could like veered the conversation in a different direction that we're not trying to go yeah and i think the video is down now 
She's down. So that's what I'm down. I'm saying like I, I had the video up myself. It didn't need to be reposted. I, I took the video down. I, Casey, I just took the video down. It's not up. So do you do you keep your word in front of everybody? This like Willow said, do you yeah, keep your word? I, You're I, not gonna I, talk about me. About you further, man. Someone asked that question in the chat. That uh, why not claim the other large percentage, Casey? If you can answer that for the chat. There he is. Hello? I don't understand why people assume that I don't claim that I'm African when my tribe is Afro-Indigenous as tribe. It would be really redundant to, to not claim that I'm African because even the tribe that is Afro-Indigenous that I descend from knows what tribes in Africa we descend from. Like our people escaped slavery we were enslaved but we escaped and became maroons intermarried with the arawak people but we knew who we were even then yurubas ashantis you know bantus Igbo people we still have our warriors dance the hanid bin it's tied to the igungun people in africa as well as the arawak people here in the americas I know both sides of my people, bro. So for people just to assume that I don't claim something is really bizarre to me. I have no problem. Even if I was just African, there would be no problems with that. But that's not all that I am. That's not all that my culture is. My culture is, is literally identified by UNESCO. UNESCO knows us. Our language is Arawak and African. How do I practice? I think they're having a problem with you hyper focusing on the indigenous part, and they're getting triggered that you're not acknowledging it. That's what it's. Uh, I don't even think it really matters. Like, I, I've hung out with KSC plenty of times before, and he does talk about both aspects of it. For one, so I will point that out. But, but for two. We had already moved on from that entire conversation, so it being brought up the way it does is kind of inflammatory. No. So no, I suggest no, we move not, on. No, hold on, hold on. You're not. You know, you're not going to do that. It was an honest question. He was honest. He was answering honestly. Why? Why? It's not Casey ducking it. He's not ducking it. He's explaining it. So it's not about moving on with the conversation, Kiki. Come on now. This is yeah, what you were asking, I'll, and he's answering it. I'll explain. Like literally, like because I was, I grew up with my mother too. My mother's not African. My mother is a Belizean Honduran woman. She grew up with her culture. She speaks Spanish. She speaks Creole. She knows some Garinagu words. I didn't grow up with my father, who was the African American parent, even though his ancestry is distant. You know, let's 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 you know, let's not even you know go that far. You know, because some people have problems with that. But let's just say he's just exclusively that. I grew up with my mother. I didn't know my father. So for people to get mad at me about a culture that I grew up in, like the, I don't understand that. Because like I thought he was getting mad to be exclusively just African or just African American, people still single me out and point me at as something else. I get called things like chingadera and all this other shit or gabacho and all this other shit. So even when I'm just black or trying to be just black, people see me as something other than black. I can't win. And I'm not just that. My mother is something else completely. I get what you're saying on that because I've got a, um, I've got an adopted brother. He is a uh, mixed black and white and we don't know what else because we don't know who his father is or who his mother is. And he's never done DNA. But when he was adopted, my mother was with the, his, uh, with the Mexican guy and for a long time you know my brother would go around and tell people well i'm not white or black i'm mexican and it took us some learning and going to counseling to figure out how to help him with that identity crisis so it is a lot about how you're raised you know and, and that's the thing i i didn't have a crisis so per se until i got on this app and people start picking me apart i grew up knowing that my mother my my mother's mother was maya my mother's father was Gadifuna. he was part black she was clearly not 
you know, her, her, her mother was clearly not. And that translates down to my mother, who is part black and part of her isn't. You know, now when you go into the whole Kafka system, yeah, okay, my grandmother might not be full blood Maya, and she's not. She has Scandinavian in her because she had a, uh, a, a grandfather or something that was Scandinavian who came to Honduras. And then when uh, they had my, my great grandma, they fled the country from him. So that shit wasn't even out of love. You know, I, I, can't, I can't control that. Hold on. Can we hear my from Vibes, bro? Can we hear from Vibes? She, 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 she's been patiently. My problem with this is that because I am a mixed indigenous, my problem is that when the gatekeepers are coming at people who have more native blood than someone like you, Casey, and they start calling, they start grouping us in the same category as a two percenter. You know what I mean? And we get the backlash from every time somebody uh, in the African-American community who is 2% claims full indigenous. So they get called pretendians. So who gets dragged under the bus with that? We do. We are valid mixed indigenous, you know, uh, every, everywhere from 25% to 50 75 percent the fact that we get dragged under the bus because of who we look like and we are dragged in with the pretendians well that's that not right funny. and at the same but, time i don't claim to be full blood i don't i didn't even came claim to be half blood quarter blood is, i just claim to be indigenous with, and it is with valid um afro indigenous as well um they they also get called pretendians so it's not only light-skinned natives it's also afro-indigenous like if you are two percent you know you should I'm not be claiming uh, i'm not two percent though i'm not two percent though that's what i'm saying i'm not two percent my grandmother is two percent that's only one like grandmother okay I'm not 2 i either. finally have the words for this topic please oh, can you Lord. listen to me thank you I am Sisita Watanoyate, in case you're wondering. I am an enrolled member, so you don't have to come check me for my card. Anyway, I am saying, why are we doing the Washichu's bidding for them? We're literally telling people we can't be, they can't be part of us. And that makes us weaker because we don't have the numbers. Regardless of blood quantum or percentage, as long as you are trying to connect to your people, you deserve to be part of the tribe because that's what our people did. Our people took the strongest people and the best, smartest people to become part of our tribe. I understand Man, I like that, but there is a point where you cannot be swimming in this I, I like her. Because that's what I was People saying ready. that I'm two percent, I'm three percent. But hey, 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 Casey, they're gonna hang it over your head every time, bro. They're gonna it's, hang it over. Your head. It doesn't matter the percentage. We're literally signing our death certificate by doing this. You should, you should tell Mono that because he's using that percentage over his head many times. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. We are only dividing ourselves. Please let me talk. I am trying to speak my piece. I have allowed everyone to speak in here. Please. They're fine. As I was saying. No one wins when we all are divided. The only person that wins is the big government. We all deserve need and need to be heard, regardless of the percentage. It does not matter. As long as your bloodline is able to thrive and survive that, this ongoing system that we are facing, it is a survival, I and mean, that means that your family was able to survive that horrible tragedy that has been happening to our people this whole time. That's why I won't even do my, I really don't have no interest in doing my DNA because I have my lineage. And to me, that's all I need is my lineage. I've got my grandparents, my grandmother, my great grandmother, my great great grandmother, my great 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 grandmother, all the way up to five grandmothers. So I literally can trace my lineage at, at the before time, this country was established. I my ancestors included the 
I wouldn't dare claim 8%. That's just too low for me. And then especially with me not growing up I claim up in white, the African, white percent. I claim the little bit of me, white like, that I have. Growing up in my African, like African culture, I wouldn't feel comfortable claiming that, even if it is in my DNA, because it's a lower percentage and I didn't grow up in that culture. Can people, so you, no, you think you can have to gatekeep that. yourself because people look up some people tribe? made you feel that you are belonged to. It sounds like, like you are around the wrong individuals that do not want to teach you your culture or want you to bring up around that because if you're around the right people, they will teach you your ways regardless of what you look like. Like, I get it. We have colorism in our um, community. The colorism is a huge thing. It comes from generations down. So, you know, I'm, I'm not going to claim it when it, it wasn't like when up, Gary, when up. that when that wasn't instilled in my um upbringing you know like and then also again like i said a percent to me it's a low percentage i just wouldn't even i just even really wouldn't go claim that so just because i have the all these other tribes in me please casey let me talk please i have all these other tribes in me i am literally six different tribes my mother is from the north my dad is from the South. My dad is KCA. My mother is Meskwaki, Ojibwe, and Dakota. Meaning, I have barely enough blood to join any of those tribes, even though I've been to almost every place that I have mentioned. But because I grew up near my Kiowa side, I don't just claim to be Kiowa. In fact, my CDIB says that I'm Sisseton Wapanoyate. So does that make it okay for me to not pro practice those other tribes? So here's how you still like you're still even if you're mixed native, like you're still native. That's my highest percentage is native, and not just I'm not just going by percentage. That's how I grew up. Like you know, on my because my mom, I learned my mom's ways. But I'm I'm what I'm saying is. If I took a DNA test, which I did, and then, like I said, I learned I'm, I'm, I don't know, even let me go as far as saying, okay, I'm 7% Italian. I'm not going to go and be like, oh, I'm Italian, you guys. And then now all of a sudden, like, I'm just trying to learn every Italian way and freaking um, language and, you know, be all about Italian when that's not, that wasn't my upbringing. Like, that, that's not my the biggest piece of me like i i don't know if i'm explaining myself I right i mean you if you're gonna go do it go for about it about our ancestors me personally, I would you think it. that they would stop you from being who you are based on that percentage if you were standing what? in front of your elder or anyone saying that you are not who you are in front of their face do you think they would allow it so what i am is i am mixed tribes i am three metis cree and chilocotin I grew up Cree. I do not practice, um, I do not do the arts of Chilicotin or Metis because that's not how I grew up. Um, I don't feel it is my place to even do any kind of Chilicotin art or Metis art um, unless requested by an actual Metis or Chilicotin person. Um, even with Chilicotin, you know, like I, I I'm way out in left field. I don't know what that is all about. So I don't think that I should even be even trying if, if requested. So with that being said, you know, um, all those mixes of all my tribes equal to less than 50%, right? So it's not like you are splitting up all your tribes. You should be they're all indigenous you know you should be combining that you know what i mean exactly. the colonization and blood quantum i can't and i'm we saying are only signing our death certificate by doing so by upholding yeah. blood quantum and percentages we are literally making ourselves weaker because our ancestors did not care about color or anything if you practice the way you learned our ways you were our part of our tribe. That's how many of us got mixed. Some of us got mixed because of brutality. I'm not taking that away because that's our history. 
but our history also shows that we were kind to the people who were no, kind to us. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. You can hear your voice that you're getting, you're getting stressed. I am Calm extremely down. passionate, passionate about this because our people have been squandering, fighting over this nonsense for ever when we, in reality, we should be coming together, putting our nations together, becoming stronger. I'm not speaking as a pan Indian. I'm not. I'm speaking as a person who wants to see all tribes in the United States and Canada and everywhere else thrive as native people, regardless of quantum and percentage. Why? Because that's what our ancestors would want us to do. Can I explain something now? Uh, I grew up with my grandparent who was, a, who was tied to his culture, regardless of what I never DNA'd him because we don't do that. Like we, he was just his tribe. He knew his language, he knew his customs, he, he, he knew the foods, he made his food, everything from the Kuno to Hadutu, which is our indigenous foods of the Garifuna people. And I grew up with that. So if people want to like get, get lost on the percentage thing, like, like, the, like, no, like let's know that out. I grew up with my culture. I know nothing ab ab about my dad's side. I grew up with my mother who's Central American. She's not even from this country. She, 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 she came here when she was 15 and raised her siblings. Like I grew up with my mother. You no, know, of my you mother. Just reconnecting. You said you didn't know anything about your people. You were my finding out who your people side. were. My so why are you saying side. that? Why are my you saying that you, you're side. all of a sudden connected? You were my not connected. No, you were not connected. Though. Don't don't lie. I literally said that. I literally said don't that. Lie, you but you're saying that you grew up in your culture. You started. You did not grow up in your culture. You did not grow up in in an indigenous conversation. I grew up with my mom. I'm Dakota, and I grew up in Oklahoma. Meaning I was nowhere near South Dakota. I grew up. I've, I've tried to I've tried to speak four times now and nobody has given me a chance to speak. And I know that that seems a bit aggressive, but I feel like I have to be that have to speak up like that because a lot of times when I do these lives, I kind of get looked over and it's kind of not. It's not right. So I've sat here and I've listened to everything that all of you guys have said. And honestly, honestly, it's broke my heart. Truly, it's broke my heart because a lot of y'all know that I'm coming back home. And no, I don't know my percentage. Not worried about taking my DNA but I put in a lot of hours and a lot of work to find out where my people come from. I've took a lot of criticism on the chin and some I haven't. And to sit here and hear so many people arguing over this percentage, I don't think you're realizing that the one person that has been here and has been respectful to everybody, in a way it feels like he kind of you kind of, in a way, invalidating. Because my grandmother wasn't full-blooded native, but she was native. So when you're sitting here talking about that, talk, just keep in mind the people that's around you and that you're, just keep in mind the people around you. I just, behavior you're gonna hang it over your head the fact that we are getting shit on by toxic gatekeepers is my problem i don't even know those i don't talk to them so i i'm sorry that's happening like, like that that has nothing to do with me or like what what i you know stand for toxic Gatekeepers. I'm talking about people like Jackie Keeler, um, Crystal Samagans up in Canada here. You know, there is a whole following of gatekeepers who will go into valid mixed indigenous people and call them pretendians. And then 
um, chastise them. So yes, it is colonizer behavior, but the fact that we're all getting dragged under the bus, um, this is why I am so against, um, what are they called? Pandemic Indians from the South, South East. Um, this is why I am so against that because what they're doing is actually harming valid mixed indigenous people by setting off these toxic gatekeepers. Pandemic wannabes. There you go. I want to explain something. You know, I always knew that I was Garifuna because that's what my grandparents told me. What I didn't know that is that we were an indigenous group. I, I, I found that out through research and, and, and doing like my due diligence, reading books and stuff that we were an Afro indigenous group recognized by UNESCO. I just thought we were just Garifuna. And furthermore, they called us in our home country, Garifuna Indians. It was looked down upon to be Garifuna. I grew up with that. I didn't, I didn't know that I, I, my Maya side, I didn't even know Maya was Native American because of how they teach it in school. They even teach it as a people that are no longer around. And I have living relatives who, who are more so than me, Maya present as such and have higher percentages or what have you. And, and, and they're here, you know, I can't control how I came out or anything, but I grew up with them. They gave me as enough as they, as they could, as far as knowledge goes. Now with my father, I know nothing about him or, or his side. And that's why I was trying to piece together. When I say I was reconnecting, I'm talking about my father's shit. I'm not, excuse me, my father's heritage. I'm talking about my mother. My mother knows who she is. That's why my mom, my mom, my mom laughs when I get on this app and I'm always bickering about trying to fight in the comments or whatever about who, cause she knows who she is. My mom don't have to deal with this stuff. And my mom presents a certain way. My mom has the look that everybody wants. So does my grandmother and even my grandfather, even though he was predominantly African because that's what his tribe is. Even he didn't have to deal Which with what I did. Which way I, did you grow up? I grew up Central American indigenous, Central American indigenous, not indigenous from the north, not indigenous to, uh, to Mexico or anything like that. Central American oh, indigenous. I'm Central American. What culture would that be? Garifuna and Chorti Maya. A specific tribe of Maya, not not Yucatec, not Soltsil, uh, or, or any of the, you know, other tribes from Mexico. Like, a distinct branch of Maya. Chol speakers. Choltan is what they call it. You didn't grow up with no Mayan culture, none of that. You, you, I grew up with this app, not even knowing who you were, bro. I grew up with a recent. Brother, how are you telling how, how me? How you gonna sit there and say? How are you gonna sit there and say that you grew up in that culture? You, you I grew up, bro. Do you hear yourself? You, I heard you. I heard when you came to this app, bro. Do you forget? You didn't hear when I come to this app? When I came to this app, you weren't even on no. this app. I've been on this app like two no, years. No, I heard you, bro. When I came onto this app, you didn't know who the fuck you were. What Western? Do you know who you are? What Western Bueno, bro? I knew about you then. We're okay, so let's give Mexi a, a, a chance to talk because she was she was saying something and nobody let her finish her thoughts. Go ahead, Mexi. Uh, thank you. So no, I just want to really quick, like, you know, um, I was just voicing my insights on on the whole, you know, I get I'm I'm speaking about percentage because this 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 is like a new thing now, but. If you're if you're reconnecting or if you have like your ancestry line, whatever, and you just found out and you want to reconnect by all means, like I'm not trying to get keep anything. I was just voicing my personal. No, the majority, no, the, your people say that they're African and they're just welcome Please don't amongst speak the indigenous. Community. People. Please don't speak for my community, Mano. I'm Please. I'm serious. That's what I, that's what I've learned about your people. I have learned they that about your claim people. Both we claim Arawak and African because that's what we are. We've always done that. It's even in our it's even in our customs. Why do you think we use the conch shell? And 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 we have a, a our our courting dance. 
the 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 one honey behind Wanawagwa. Like Wanawagwa? That's an Arawak word. That's the question. Like, that, what people like, do you, what, what do the Karabakh amongst that are indigenous? What, what what do we do that's what? No, what are the people that you live amongst that that are indigenous? There. Therefore the where Am you guys are no, bro. I'm talking about your people in the homelands. What are the the people that you live amongst that are indigenous? The Mayans are they the Mayans or who? The Garifunas. We have, we have we have different communities throughout throughout that area because of proximity, bro. The mosquitoes. No, that's what I'm saying. So you live amongst the what? Who, who are the indigenous people there? They're the they're the Mayans. Are they the? Are you saying who the are those people? Had mixed ones. Is that what you're trying to say? Because Garifuna yeah, yes, the the, the ones that are that were there that took the they got a funus in. They took the you guys Arawak. in as a people. We we descend from the Arawak, the mainland Arawaks, the Edo, the Edowaks, the Edowaks there. But you're talking about you're in in uh, what El Salvador? No, bro, I'm Honduran Belizean. Okay, Honduran in Honduras. So it's in Honduras that the Garifunas were taken in and living yeah, amongst the people, but they were time. they were pretty much African descent. By the time we were exiled to raw time, we were already admixed, bro. We became what we are in, in St. Vincent. I read your history. Your history doesn't read like that, though. Yeah, it reads that you guys were you, you guys were welcome. We read it then because you you clearly don't know our our exodus, bro. All right, all right. I'll look into it. I'll look more into it. Yeah, I'll make a video about it. I can tell you how how we came to be. I, I know it verbatim because it's been taught to me. But I wasn't. I looked into your people before I met you, and it gets refreshed sometimes. Like, wait a minute, that's not what I learned. Because we were exiled from St. Vincent because we were the at, we were called what they call the black caribs. They had the red caribs, which is the people that weren't admixed. They had the yellow caribs with the people that were admixed but didn't present as such. And then they had the black caribs, my people. We didn't have a name until the 1700s when we fought the second carib war or chiefs. So, 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 was that a racial class system? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm just okay. Mm -hmm. And we didn't have a name, the, the Kalipuna, which means the cassava eating people. We didn't have that until the second Carib War. Our, our chief, our first chief was Chief Joseph Satouye, or Chatoyer in, uh, in French, I believe. So yeah, we, 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 they called us the black Caribs. And the reason they call us Caribs is because they thought we were cannibals. So I, I know, I know all that history, bro. Like, we we got uh, uh, deported or what what have you for lack of a better word into different parts of the Caribbean. We're in Nicaragua. We're in uh, uh we're in uh, Honduras. We're in Belize. Um, Saint, there's some of us that remained in Saint Vincent despite the uh, being exiled. Uh, there's one other I believe I'm missing, but yeah, we were all up and through there, bro, and we, we had proximity to other tribes as well, which is what what my grandparents that we the reason I'm here because my grandmother is not Garifuna, my my mom's mom she's Maya mixed Maya at that or what you would call for lack of a better word a mestizo, and I would never use the term to call my grandmother that, but that's what they would call her, you know. And so she intermarried with my grandfather, married my grandfather. Because of proximity, they both are. They they both had family in Puerto Cortez, Honduras, and I have ties to both parts of that of that area, both British Honduras, which was Belize, and Honduras. You know, so like I, that, and I, so both parents are Honduran Belizean. So I, I'm, I'm Honduran Belizean through and through. If you want to go off nationality, as far as tribe, like my one side is Garifuna, the other side is Maya or mixed Maya, what have you. Didn't know so much about my grandmother because she, like I said, she unalived in 1985. I was born in 1990. That's literally five years before I was born. You try to reach out to your people that are there right now? Yes. I have. We talk all the time. That's the thing. Like, I don't like when people assume things about and me. They, like, they, I talk to my people all, all the right. time, and they and they they say this. The thing that they they actually they claim more, mostly Maya more than Garifuna because of the black component. It's 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 flipped for my family because they actually don't celebrate the black component of them because they like to proximate. They like to the proximity with the the Latinidad thing. 
like everything that's white passing is better like which is why they treat the people who are who are white passing in my family better than they treat us you know because they the latina dodge shit you know like that that's that's just how it, it is down there you know like and i'm not like that but that's that's what my upbringing was like you know and yeah, they, they claim Maya, they claim their Maya tribe, but the ones that, no, but, that but, look but, like me, no, but they... There's people that, that the Etowak people, like, the, their uh, descendants are, a lot of them are Tainos, descendants that are in the that's islands, a like, that's a you thing, know what I'm saying, like, like the that Dominican that Republic, that's Puerto that's Rico, hey, if, hey, the, the, hey. if they're the descent, sorry, real quick, hey. they're the descendants of the Etowak, the Etowak people, but they, they are now classified as Taino. Yeah, like the Garifuna are classified as Garifuna. Because uh, there's different, different. Um, they're not called clans, but just to just to to give you guys a visual, there are different clans of Arawak. Um, but we'll, uh, let's welcome uh, Native Love. She's new on our panel, and then Elsa. Thank you, thank you for coming back. You're welcome, honey. Uh, Elsa will be next after Native Love. Go ahead, Native Love. Oh, hello. Yeah, I just wanted to welcome you up, Native Love, and see if you had anything to say. Oh, I have nothing to say. I'm just um, stopping through just to say hi because I'm on my way to South Dakota. Yeah, how's your trip going? It's pretty good. Whereabouts pretty are you now? Like, I mean, are you still uh, Arizona. Arizona, okay. Almost uh, okay, well, you be safe, okay? But love you guys. Don't want to interrupt your talking or nothing, but love you. Love you, sister. Safe love you travel. Too. Love you. Stay safe. I am so glad you're feeling better. Oh, thank uh, you. Uh, Elsa. Go ahead, sister. You've been waiting very patiently. Thank you. You're welcome. I uh, I got sidetracked. Someone was talking to me. I'm outside uh, when you tried to invite me up. But I was listening to your live and, um, you know, I, I heard, I mean, everyone's entitled to their own opinion, but I think like I mix with native blood and I just and people's situations are different and they may not have uh, practiced in that uh, culture like me. I didn't know. I took a, the ancestry test and it came back. I had native blood. Well, I was shocked. So I always knew I, I was black and, you know, whitey. And so I basically you know, went with that. I was raised in a different culture. And then I found out and do DNA, thank God, that my mother said another man was my father. And so I found out my father. So I, I'm trying to connect my, I got all my uh, dolls roles. And so basically, I think when you say, if even if it's 4% and it comes up, are you 5%? I think when you say, I'm not going to claim that part, then I think about whoever had delivered that child during that time. I'm just being, you know, I worked in labor and delivery. A woman's at death's door when she delivers a child. She can die any 